So YouTube team keep it clean What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video And I know this is not the greatest news It's not the worst But it's just It hurt a little bit um, reason being because for me, while I was listening to the press conference today, uh, I was cleaning out the microwave because I had just heated up some oxtail and rice in there. Shout out to my uncle. Um, but I had just heated up some oxtail and rice in there and I had put it in there a little too long. You know, when you put it in there for a little bit too long, it goes pop, it catches you off guard. It starts sounding like you're shooting or something. So then I took it out and I had to clean up the, uh, the debris, so to speak. Uh, so then, uh, while I'm cleaning it up. I hear John Harbaugh just nonchalantly say, oh, yeah, by the way, Rashad Bateman, he's going to be having surgery on his groin. Uh, and I, the way that he just said it, like it was nothing. And I, I, he, he was previously being asked about if Lamar would, Jackson was going to be playing in a preseason game this Saturday. And he was like, oh, I'm not answering that. And they just then slipped it in there. Like, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. And then he said, oh, he'll be back sometime in September. And I like that. Oh, it just ah, that scared me a little bit. That scared me a little bit because now, now with that, that it, obviously it's not the same situation, and they are not the same player. But that reminds me of the way that he did with Bashar Perryman. It's not on the same level, but. It is a similar situation. And again, I'm not saying that Rashad Bateman and Bashar Perryman are the same. No. But the way that Harbaugh kind of set an expectation for Perryman's return to be at any week. And then it wasn't. Now with Bateman yesterday, he set an expectation. He did say, oh, it'll be a couple of weeks. It won't be months. It'll just be weeks. But then the very next day, so, oh, okay, he, he has surgery. He'll be back sometime in September. Now, <laughs> that, that sometime could be, could be first game of the season. It could be. Could be second game of the season. It could be early September. It could be late September. We just, we, we really don't know right now. And I know a lot of y'all chimed in. I talked to a lot of people uh, with their personal um their personal history when it comes to groin injuries. I, I shared some text messages with some people. Uh, I saw a lot of y'all share stuff from the comments section. Um, had some DMs with people as well. And they talked about it, how with a groin injury, it is extremely hard to judge. It's hard to judge. It's hard to tell. It's hard to really say uh, what's going on. Uh, one of my guys I talked to, he said that he's dealt with a groin injury and it happened when he was just, he was being worked out it, it, too much. He was going too hard. He was going way too hard. And then I even talked to one of my guys today. Um, and he said that may, he, maybe he thinks that the Ravens may be pushing the guys just a little too much. I know there was somebody in the comment section that said, well, uh, it may not even be that the Ravens are really pushing these guys too much. It could just be because it's just so hot outside that heat ain't no joke. And it's true. It, when it's hot, it's hot. Like, y'all know. Um, but whatever it is, uh, this is just, it's a little alarming. It's, it's, it's a little, well, it's, it's quite alarming. Um, because, <laughs> like, ooh, when you, you, when you hear that S word, when you hear that S word, surgery, and it, it just, it, it delays so much. Now, of course, the biggest thing that we want for Rashad Bateman is to come back and come back all the way. Um, th and that was another thing that some people said. Some people said that maybe Rashad Bateman, with the injury that he was dealing with last week, maybe he wasn't fully recovered from that. And they may have rushed him back or brought him back a little too soon. So, I mean, whatever it is, now he's having surgery. So now he is going to be rectifying whatever the situation is uh, with his groin. Uh, so hopefully after the surgery, hopefully it's a quick recovery. I'm not sure what the recovery time is. Well, it's obviously a couple of weeks if he's going to be back sometime in September. Um, so we'll see uh, how that goes. Um, man, I, I know a lot of Ravens fans, be, they, they hurting right now uh, from hearing that. Because, again, it just, like I said, just talking, just talking about preseason. 
oh, no, I'm not going to say if Lamar is going to play in the preseason. No, we, we got a certain rotation we do for the starters and the backups, and, and we got it based off of guys' age and how long they've been in the league. And da, 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 da. And he was talking about Tay-Tay. He said Tay-Tay had a vet day off, and Marlon Humphrey had a vet day off today. Marcus Peters, some other guys, they had vet days off today. And again, John Harbaugh just, just was talking. He was just talking, oh, yeah, everything good, everything good. Oh, yeah, Rashad Bateman, he's getting ready to have surgery. He's going to be out till sometime in September. It's like, whoa. Whew. So, and again, hope, like we talked about yesterday, hopefully, again, it's, there is that small percent of fans that they can make everybody look bad uh, when they go to these irrational statements and this irrational way of thinking and when they make these crazy claims and crazy assumptions and say oh Rashad Bateman since this is happening he's a bust and he hasn't even taken one snap on the field but they don't they don't represent everybody they don't represent the entire fan base they don't represent all the Ravens flock they don't um, but again, the biggest thing we want for Rashad Bateman is for him to get better because think about it as painful as this might be right now. This is not the worst situation. This is not the end all be all because say, for instance, he was ready to go or ready to go week one. What if he came out there week one and then he made a couple of catches? It's like, all right, let's go Bateman. Then on one play, he made a catch. And went down to the ground and was just holding his groin like, ah, screaming. Then he's out for the season. What if that happens? See, that we, and, and we don't want anything like that to happen. So I'm not mad. It's a little disappointing. But at the same time, when you think about the, the, the big scenario, this is a good thing that they're doing this now rather than later, rather than pushing it off. Because it, it has happened. You know, play, cause players want to play. Players want to play. NFL stands for not for long. And teams nowadays, they'll move on from a player faster than ever. Faster than ever. Um, but, and, and I'm not saying that the Ravens will move on from Rashad Bateman. Because I know some people try to take stuff. And, well, you know, anyway. But players, they trying to be out on that field because this is their job. This is what they've been training for. This is what they've been grinding for their entire lives to get to this point. So when it's taken away from them, for whatever reason, they want to get back out there. So we have seen plenty of players in the past. They'll have injuries. And we're going to continue to see that. Players may have an injury, but they'll be like, no, no, I'm playing through it. I'm playing through it. Whether it's a first-round pick to a seventh-round pick to an undrafted guy to a new free agent that just got signed, they try to play through it because they know it's next man up. It's next man up. So you need to try to solidify your spot on the roster. And again, Rashad Bateman's spot is safe. But for a lot of other guys who go through the same thing, when they face an injury, They'll try to just put it off. No, I'm not doing surgery. No, I don't want to sit out. No, I don't want to rest. I got to keep going. But for Rashad Bateman, this is a, it's a good thing that he's getting this situation dealt with so he can, be, he can come back and be 100%. So team, keep it clean. I, even though y'all are hurting, we know. I, trust me, I'm hurting a little bit too. But in the long run, we got to think about the long run because I know a lot of times we get caught up in the short-term thinking. Like, again, that's the difference between a microwave, cooking your food in a microwave like I just did, versus cooking it in the oven. The microwave is quick. It's fast. And that's how we operate a lot of times. We want it quick. We want it fast. But the food is always better on the stove or on the oven. It takes longer, but the quality is much better. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like Rashad Bateman is, until sometime in September, when that will be, we'll see. But... I'm out.